Stygius, Blade of the Underworld. I need your strength. That one, huh? Again. That looks like a Daedalus hammer. Enchantments for my weapon. Daedalus, wherever you may be right now, thank you. People having a good time? Well, sure then. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I'll accept this message. Hey there, Zag man. How's it going? Look, you have got to get here with the rest of us already. We've been saving you a spot. Let me see what I can do. Make life a little sweeter for you in the meantime. Leave it to the god of wine to lagging things up around here. Witches. Stones. Thank you. Pests. Should I get this to? Let's see what's in here. Hit the spot. Donald, it's 
It's uncle number two. It's got to be. Then, in the name of Hades, Olympus may accept this message. Hi there, little Hades. You recognize your uncle, do you not? We've a lot of catching up to do, but first things first. You get yourself out of that dour underworld. As for me, I'll see if I can stir things up a bit to cover your advance. Looks like I caught a big one. The power of the seas should be of help. Your Highness. Hey, Princess. Must look like I'm slacking off with the old boulder here, but I was just getting back on my feet. The Fury Sisters don't often leave me be. Where'd they go, anyway? And, um, what are you doing here? Oh, you know, just out on a little stroll is all. Do me a favor, though. You see the Fury Sisters. Let them know I was headed down the way I came from, will you? Oh, I'll let them know, all right. I hear you loud and clear, Your Highness. I'll just go about my business now, and you take care. Makes sense to me. Cheers, mate. You can do this. doing business. Delicious. You know, one thing I'll say for Charon there, he doesn't talk too much. And since neither do you, I'm letting you have this. Hey, Charon, if there happens to be something really horrible awaiting me beyond that door, then give me a sign, won't you? Great. Oh, hello. <laughs> and there you are again. Lord Hades ought to lock you up rather than let you run amok in his domain like this. I'm sure he'd welcome all this feedback from you, Meg. Or maybe you're just pining for my father's job. I have no envy for your father's position. Besides, I happen to enjoy my own responsibilities.
I did it. The ancient blood. How did you... None other than those in the trusted inner circle of Lord Hades are authorized to enter the intricate chambers connecting the vast regions of the underworld. But the prince decides to barge in anyway. I barge where I please. Oh, Sandy. Don't think I've gone this far. And check. Now we're getting somewhere. The once verdant plains of Asphodel are now engulfed in scintillating flame, having been flooded by the river Phlegathon, whose hideously superheated contents could bring death swiftly even to those resistant to most heat. I'm only flame resistant, not flame proof. Skull crashes. Bloodless. Fingers. It's the barge of death.
no effect. into danger for the past six chambers or more and you made such a racket I could almost hear it from Olympus I have to say your hunting skills are rather unconventional time to hunt Who dies next? yet.
heads. Should fetch me something good back home. I trust you had a pleasant stay in Asphodel. What do I get? Next region. There. The fields of Elysium. The rare, heavenly splendors of Elysium, reserved for only the most great of mortal souls, spread forth luxuriantly all about the fire-stepping prince. Luxuriantly? Really? Bright swords. <laughs> that eyeball was that thing. Spears. Strongbows. Does truly visit you before? He tends to seek out revelry, not conflict. I'm pleased to know he's making himself useful here. Chariots.
Flame wheels. Dead. Generator. I'll tell you now, even Athena here will cut loose for a bit, let down her hair, you know, put on something more comfy, yeah? It's gonna be great. Perhaps Lord Dionysus here is the true god of strategy, as it appears he is uncannily aware of my next move, cousin. Although be that as it may, I shall attempt to remain focused on your situation, not his feast. Nice. Cheers, you two. Oh, wow. Hold 
old fiend. You'll walk not one more step toward the light of day, so long as I am here. Two against one. Seems hardly fair. Oh well. <clears throat> Let's kill him and be done, King. Theseus? The Bull of Minos? You two are legends. I'd be honored if we had a sporting contest here. Ah, uh, a naked attempt to sway me from my convictions. Defend yourself, you blaggard. And may the gods show you some mercy, for I shall not. Oh. Such a spectacle, is it not? Prepare yourself. Ah! 
Thanks.
I'll just take this one. I can do this. I can do this. this. The multi-headed Cerberus stands vigilant before the underworld's entryway. The tales of what happens to those foolish enough to attempt to pass are far too graphic to describe. So it's really come to this, boy. After everything we've been through. Well then, this is how it has to be. There's nothing left to say, except for on your guard. <laughs> no, but seriously, boy. I know why you're here. There has to be a way to make you look the other way. What if I help you with the Sater problem? Would you let me go? Please. I have to find Persephone. My mother. You know what this means to me. <laughs> After a moment's hesitation and deliberation, the voracious hound of hell barks once, affirmatively toward the prince who sets off in search of something that can sate the monster's appetites. Good. Now I just need to head off the beaten path here and... Don't spend it all in one place, mate. Try this way. out of here. Got to keep searching. I bet it's in here.
Sector storage. Disgusting. Cerberus will love it. So Cerberus. All right, boy, I got your favorite treat. But you have to promise to let me pass if I hand it over, okay? Terrifying Cerberus accepts the fetid sack and scans the darkened hall for where best to consume the stomach-turning contents. I owe you one, boy. I never grew accustomed to the air up here. It gusts senselessly whichever way it pleases. I suppose you must prefer it to the stillness of the air below. You know, you're right. The air up here seems pretty good so far. But I will reserve judgment till I've had my fill. I have to say, though, Father, the Helm of Darkness suits you. I'm touched you dust it off on my account. It should not have had to come to this. For all your antics with me yet around the house, I always kept my temper, have I not? Unlike you. Well, let's see. You've berated me repeatedly and often. You've lied to me, mustered a bunch of incompetent wretches to try to kill me, but sure. I'll grant that you've always kept most of your anger bottled up. All that's about to change, then. We're gods, boy. Killing one another is our lot. Although I always thought I was above it. I told you that you cannot leave this place. It seems I must enforce my rules myself. No, you're going home, not me. I suppose that you must hate the very sight of me. You'll understand then why I wear the Helm of Darkness. I shall be right back. Go home, I said. against me like this boy. What do you think, Father? I think you are wasting your time. I don't care what you think.
vanquished a titan's boy. Ah, uh, damn you, father. What? Ah, uh, what? <laughs> hey, you're back! Wait, wait, what happened? My list says you got killed by a redacted? What's that even mean? I've never seen anything like this. Don't want to talk about it. A moment, lad. I saw your father storm out of the house in his regalia. So he must have confronted you himself at last. I see that must have not gone well. You were so close. Well, at least I know who will be waiting for me the next time I climb all the way to the Temple of Styx and manage my way out. Don't lose heart, lad. I did not train your father, only you. He is a god, but he is just a god. If you'll forgive my bit of treason there. Just a god. I finally made it to the surface, Nyx. Confronted father there out in the cold. I couldn't make it past him, but I was so close. Do not despair, as I told you before. With effort and with time, most any setback can be overcome. Even your father. You have come closer to your goal. Achieve it. Effort and time. Um, Nyx, you've done so much for me. I thought you might like this. You know your father does not like it when nectar is doled out on the premises, dear child. However, I am not he, and I wished regardless to provide you a token of my affection. I'm very grateful, Nyx. <sighs> the prodigal son returns. Everyone's saying I went easy on you, Zag. Don't worry, Meg. I eventually managed to get home the painful way after all. Look, I have a reputation to uphold. You get past me again like that, you best go all the way. Now leave me be and don't think you're gonna be so lucky next we meet out there. Emptier than usual around here. different. How's it going? What's the good word? Hey, Skelly, you look like you know your way around Tartarus. Found some of this ancient Titan blood out there, and I was looking to score some more. Ah, you've come to the right place regarding that there, pal. It's your mean weapons back there that can find this stuff. Once you get all the way through Tartarus with one, that's all the blood you're gonna get. For the time being, anyhow. How am I supposed to keep track of which weapons I've earned these with, then? I don't know. There's always the invention of writing stuff down. You'll figure something out. Open up. Varatha, the Eternal Spear. Join my pursuit. Hey, nice. Got something new to try. Should help. <laughs> 